what the black man and woman needs to know about the nation, about the world, about themselves. Mohammed Speaks It. To order your 12-issue subscription to Mohammed Speaks newspaper, 313-371-7033. 313-371-7033. Green Bean Pie is the grand champion of all bean pies. The rich flavor and smooth texture takes this pie to a whole new level of delicious. One bite and you'll understand why people all over the country call daily to order Green Bean Pie. 313-371-7033. That's 313-371-7033. Green Bean Pie. Muhammad Speaks presents Messenger Elijah Muhammad's Teachings by Minister Khalil Shabazz every Sunday from 2 to 3 p.m. at Muhammad's Temple of Islam, 12609 East McNichols Road in Detroit. Brothers and sisters, we rise for prayer. In the name of Allah, the Beneficent and Merciful, all praises due to Allah, the Lord of the worlds, the Beneficent and Merciful, so, Master's Day of Judgment, in which we now live, the alone that we serve, and the alone seeks for thine help and aid. O Allah, please guide us on the right path, path of those upon whom thou spill thy favors, not on the path of those upon whom thy wrath is brought down, nor those who go astray have they heard thy teachings. Say he, Allah is one God, Allah is he of whom nothing is independent, but upon whom we all depend. He beget us not, nor is he begotten, there is none like him. And I bear witness that none is there to be served worse to praise besides Allah, who came in the person of Master Farah Muhammad. And I bear witness that the honor Elijah Muhammad is that true servant and last apostle. I mean, we like to acknowledge the brothers and sisters that extended us the greetings of Assalamu alaikum. But first, we'd like to give a special thank you to Sister Amarose Kouket for her uh, excellent job of proofreading the paper. Right, so we have Brother Stephen Cowan from Seattle. We have Brother Muhammad Abdul Rashid from Florida. We have Minister Hawk from New York. We have Brother Malik Muhammad from Detroit. We have Brother Salim Shabazz from Florida. And we have Brother Hanif from Hawaii. I like to say in the name of Allah who came in the person of Master Farah Muhammad. And in the name of his last and greatest messenger, the most honorable Elijah Muhammad, I'd like to greet the brothers and sisters with the Nation of Islam's greeting words of peace of our salam alaykum. Today, we like to talk about Will Smith was not defending the black woman. So I got to give the disclaimer. I wasn't going to talk about Will Smith when I first heard about them. Because that's nothing that has to do with Muslims. But I have to, we gotta separate ourselves from Lewis. This brother, he got, when they shared it online, it says the Messiah speaks on Will Smith. This is Lewis. The Messiah speaks on Will Smith. This has absolutely nothing to do with Muslims. That's number one. So then this brother talking about uh, the Messiah speaks. Then they got something else that they shared. This was online. This him talking about the woman. So in this video, this particular video, he talking about uh, that one time the, uh, he was with the messenger. And some brothers had, uh, I ain't going to say attack, but they did something to an MGT. So the brothers, according to him, this is what he was saying, was fighting the brothers to protect the sister. So he said that the messenger said the brother should have killed. That's what he said. So now they trying to relate what Will Smith did to what the messenger said, how we supposed to protect the black woman. And another thing about the new school nation of Islam. We see Will and Jada to defend them. We see Father Flager.
to defend him because I read about Father Flake. The only thing that saved this death was because they said that the Child Protective Services or whatever department they used to investigate the molestation, they don't investigate if the child who makes the claim is not a minor. That's the only thing that saved this death. Because the, the people who was accusing him, they volunteered for the polygraph test, passed it with flying cups. He had, uh, the, the lawyer said he had incredible detail about this devil's bedroom. Something that a child should not know nothing about. Right. Then what made these brothers to me seem like they was for real. He said he wanted Father Flager to be questioned in the pub. That's what the brother said. He said, I'm willing to do anything to let it be known that this devil is guilty. So the only thing that saved this death was they couldn't invest. The only people who investigated was the archdiocese, other white homosexuals. Mm -hmm. So when Louis Farrakhan, we see him to defend him. We defend Will and Jane. But what don't we defend? These Israelites, they shared this. This was April 1st. It says, hell with your bean pies and false God. Lewis and the New, we don't see this. We don't see these Israelites disrespecting the messenger or our God. Yes. So I wouldn't have been talking about this at all. But since we in the new school nation of Islam, we got to separate ourselves from Lewis. Yes. The messenger didn't teach us nothing about what Will Smith did. No. Will Smith, I like him. Mm -hmm. Me, no disrespect. I grew up watching him. Mm -hmm. But that brother weep. Yes. That's his problem. He weep. His wife control him. Mm -hmm. She emasculating his brother. Mm -hmm. So it's reaching a boiling point for him. So he's trying to protect his manhood. But let's start with the messenger. What does messenger teach FOI about being a man? Since we got some of the MGT stuff online, let's talk about the FOI stuff. Because the brothers love to say, the messenger said the husband is the boss. That's what he said. We like saying that. We like the fact that the MGT stuff is online, so the brother, the messenger said the husband is the boss. But what does that mean? Because the messenger's teachings was a two-edged sword. Yes. It cut brothers and sisters. Yes. That's the teachings of the messenger. Mm -hmm. All this protect the black woman stuff that Lou, that ain't what the messenger taught us at all. He didn't teach us to go up there and do what Will Smith did because you a weak man. Mm -hmm. Protecting your wife starts at home. <laughs> they do it to a lot. But let's talk about the message. This is instructions given Saturday, June 2nd, 1962. It says the husband. It says the man's most important responsibility is to be the guide, protector, and provider for his wife and children. His additional responsibility to contribute to nation building are secondary to his obligation at home. His usefulness to the nation of Islam is realized that he builds a happy home in marriage. A failure in the home is man's greatest fail. Yes, sir. So that's what we're talking about when the messenger said the husband is the boss. When you at work and something go wrong, I used to love to do it. Calling the boss. What you want me to do? Such and such. He got to worry, not me. Mm -hmm. It's on him. 
Because if I fail as an employee, it looks bad on the boss. Because the messenger says the husband is the boss. He said a failure in the home is man's greatest fail. Then the messenger goes on. This point number two, because we don't have time to read it all. It says, don't allow your wife to steal your leadership. It says she makes the decisions, determines family policy, makes plans without the husband. The children turn to her for consent, always telling you what to do and when to do it. If this is happening, you must overpower her and regain the position as head of the household. This Will Smith, he let Jada overpower him as the man of the house. That's his problem. He weak. He failed in the home. Will and Jada, let's talk about them. They have an open relationship. And this is the difference between Lewis and the me The messenger wouldn't even spoke on this. Why talk about they don't represent nothing about Islam at all? Right. Even their marriage has nothing to do with protecting the black woman. Nothing at all. Will Smith was wrong in what he did to Chris Rock. What do you do to Allah? Chris Rock is a comedian. If you would have, if he would have been protecting his wife, he should have sat in the back. If Will Smith wanted to protect his wife, he knows she got an issue. Sit in the back. Comedian's livelihood is to make jokes. Chris Rock joked Denzel Washington. He laughed. He joked the people sitting, the couple sitting next to them, they laughed. He joked Jada's will laugh. But then when this wife turns out he mad. No. That ain't got nothing to do with Muslims. The messenger taught us the home. The man is the head of the household. He said if your wife takes your role as the leader, then you must overpower her to regain your position as head of the household. So now let's get back to Lewis. Because we got to know some important things about Lewis to understand why he defending Will and Jay. We got to go to 1975. We can't forget also that Will and Jada gave him $150,000 for one of his little things. We also got to know that. But as far as Muslims is concerned, why is he defending Will and Jake? This comes from the July 3rd, 1975, Jet Magazine. This is when Wallace took over. It says Muslims drop black label admits whites. That's number one. That's why you see Lewis today defending flag. He is an extension of Wallace D. Muhammad. That's right. He's continuing to destroy the nation of Islam. That's what he do to a lot. So then when you go on another page, it says new role, new rules allows more freedom to Muslim women. The nation of Islam has not been the same since the mess. Death. Lewis and Wallace. Change the rule for sisters. It's one of the things the messenger used to teach us about protecting our wives and respecting them is our lack of control of our woman. Our women are free to go out in the public and do whatever she want to do. That's Will Smith's problem. His woman all in the public telling the world a personal business. Because protecting your wife starts at home. Yes, sir. 
The messenger said the nation building comes second to your role as husband and father. Yes. We see your value in nation built by how you build a happy family and a marriage. They do tell a lot. So protecting the black woman for the messenger starts at home as the father, husband to your wife and children. So this is Lewis and Wallace giving sisters more freedom. That's why when you listen to Lewis, the sisters can't do no wrong with him with just to protect the black woman stuff. He don't never say nothing wrong with the sisters. Sister out in the street do what she want to do. This is what Lewis and his people say. Because the messenger told us that the man is the head of the household. But Lewis said the man ain't the head of the household. I was shocked. This stuff surprises me. Because I, it's, it's hard for me to fathom how any man in his right mind could be a part of what the messenger built and you would tear it down. That's hard for my mind to process. When I see a Muhammad Speaks newspaper, and I see the FOI. I never saw nothing like that in my life when you're talking about black men. When I got married to MGT, I never, because I'm going to be honest, when I first married my wife, she younger than me. I didn't think she knew Islam like I knew Islam. Keep it real. I didn't think so. So I'm thinking, she don't know nothing about Islam. She a young, she younger than me. I know the messenger better than her. So I remember one time, something had happened when we was getting ready to come to the temple. I'm trying to tell her how to do the MGT stuff, because you know I done read. I'm the man. That's what you should do. Why you ain't doing it like this? She looked at me and said, Khalil, I'm an MGT. And she fixed doing what she was doing, and it came out right. I'm like, wow. <laughs> Ain't do to her. That's when I learned Master Farad Maham gave us a valuable class called the MGT. Yes. He gave us back our woman. Yes, sir. I've been a witness to that. When the messenger in that MGT class have a sister who committed to that, ain't no woman nowhere better than an MGT. That's right, brother. No woman nowhere. So if you a brother, you saw what the MGT was as a nation of people with the message, why would you try to tear that down? Right. Why would you say that women, the sisters, need more freedom? When the messenger said a black man must learn how to control his woman. Yes. That's what God said. Yes. The white man that took our woman from us, he controls her. That's right. His fashion controls our women. Mm -hmm. His morals, his culture, yes. his religion has controlled our woman. Yes, sir. But God can't. In the person of Master Farai Muhammad and built a class to give us back our one. Wait, do tell her. Then you got a hypocrite who will try to tear that down. Yes. So Louis Farrakhan now. This is what a brother said on Facebook. I couldn't believe it. So I screenshot it to say it. He says the honorable minister Farrakhan. In his evolving and transposing the life-giving teachings of the Honorable Elijah Muhammad up to a higher understanding, he, the minister, teaches us that in our household, neither the man nor the woman is the head, but rather it is the truth that rules in the house or the home. That's spook worship. The truth is the man is the boss. Yes, sir. That's the truth. That's the truth. That rule, praise, that rules in that for our house. 
The man is the boss. The sister ain't the boss. That's one thing that we got to get clear in this new school stuff. Yes. Once you become FOI, love being FOI. We don't abuse our wife. By no stretch. The messenger told us not to. But the role that the messenger gave us as men, nobody taking that away from us. The white man ain't taking it. Some of these leaders, we are the boss in our house. Yes, sir. We the boss. We the provide. 100% yes, provide. 100% protect. Yes. That's what the messenger taught us. We provide for our house. That's how we get respect. That's how the FOI do it. They saw me. They didn't see boys. Right. They saw me. Let's talk about men during the time of the messenger. Because I be all over the internet. I was watching some of Wallace's people. Because even though they went to Orthodox Islam, what I like about them is they still tell some of them old stories about when they was with the messenger. And what they say aligns with what I read in the Muhammad Speaks newspaper. So the minister who was in Los Angeles, I listened to him and them Los Angeles brothers talk all the time. So they was having a memorial for Captain Ali Rashi. So this is what the brother said, and this was a story that he told that was impressive to me to show the messenger. He said he was the minister, I believe it was in Connecticut. He said that in Chicago, he went to Chicago on a Tuesday night talking to the messenger. Now, Brother Jeremiah said the same similar story when he was going to Atlanta. This brother said he was at the messenger's house on a Tuesday night. He said the messenger asked him, how soon can you be in Los Angeles? Mind you, he lives in Connecticut. He in Chicago. It's Tuesday night. How soon can you be in Los Angeles? So the brother said before he can get words out of his mouth, the messenger said, could you be there by Friday? The brother said, Yes, sir. Because if the messenger asked you something stupid, the only res yes, sir. Yes. <laughs> yeah, that shows you how the messenger kept them brothers working. They was men. The messenger say men make things happen. That's right. So yeah, it might be hard, but I'm gonna be in Los Angeles on Friday. I'm gonna tell my wife, pack up the house, get the kids, we on our way. To Los Angeles. Mm -hmm. So that brother said he went home, handled all his business, and by Friday he was at the airport meeting with Brother Ali Rashid. Mm -hmm. That's how them brothers got down mm -hmm. during the time of the messenger. So to talk about the manhood that the messenger gave us, the brother said that they used to have problems with the police in Los Angeles. So he said that one day they was going to have a meeting with the police. This brother said that Captain Ali Rashid called the brothers who was available. Not like they had an FOI meeting and he's saying, okay, who can come? He just called the brothers who was available who could come. He said when they went to the police station, he said Captain Ali Rashid had the FOI surround the whole police station with the available FOI. So he said they went in there to talk to the police captain. He said Ali Rashid told the, bro, the, the devil, say, look, we having problems selling the paper. He said the brothers take all kind of disrespect from the police. He said they call them all kind of niggas. They disrespect us all the time and we take that. He said, but when these devils poke us with their nightstick, he said, that we will not take. Yes, sir. That was Captain that went the messenger. Yes, sir. The messenger made men. 
We do talk a lot. I don't care how Lewis and these Israelites woof it. They ain't making a man like the messenger made a man. I don't care if it's a 50 million of them. Go listen to them brothers who talk that old school FOI talk. They don't talk like how we talk. When the messenger talked about unity, let's talk some old school FOI talk. Messenger ain't say we just unite with anybody. The messenger said if what you had is better than what I had, he said, I'll bring my followers and come follow you. That's right. He said, but if what I had is better than what you had, then you should bring your followers and come follow me. That's right. So what do an old school FOI hear the messenger say when he say that? Because to the crowd, they thinking, well, we can get together with the messenger to see who's programmed the best. That ain't what FOI hear. And boy, I hear the message say my program better than yours and all y'all need to follow me. That's what that for I hear. You ain't disrespecting the message. You not coming around Muslim think you telling the messenger how it's gonna go. He telling you how it's gonna go. We ain't sympathizing with what you talking about. I'm just talking old school talk. I'm not talking this new school stuff with Lewis. That old Israelite can disrespect the message. Let's take a pause for the cause. Let's talk some old FOI talk, just for a minute. Because I love this history. This once again, because the last time we talked about it, we didn't have time to finish the whole art. Because we want to see what does the messenger say about unity versus what Farrakhan is saying about you. Because when he speaks up for Will and Jada, we think that's the right thing to do. Will and Jada black, we black. These are the group of black people, we black, we should unite. No. You had to come correct with the message. If you wanted to have a meeting with the messenger, the messenger wouldn't like Lewis. The messenger didn't go to where you were. You had to come where the messenger was. You had to make an appointment. Because one time I heard the messenger. He was talking to Louis Lomax. Louis Lomax was begging the messenger to make a movie about himself. To make a movie about himself. So the me this was an interview that I was like, wow. He the messenger of God. So without hesitation, the messenger told Louis Lomax, he said, you never commercialize on the truth. He said, you cheapen the truth. He said, I'm the messenger of God. He said, I got respect. He said, if I commercialize on the truth, I cheapen the respect that the people have for me. This is the message. The St. Louis money man Farrakhan. Just because Will and Jada gave him some money, he gonna make what they doing all right. This is another thing about Lewis. And I talk about Lewis like I do. To let everybody who listen to us know, when we talking about unity, we're not talking about the kind of unity that Louis Farrakhan talking about. That's right. When we talking about the messenger, I don't know who Lewis and them talking about, but we talking about the Honorable Elijah Muhammad. <laughs> All that we do, we trying to do what he did. That's right. We trying to tell the people what he said. That's right. We trying to be men like what he made us. We want to marry MGT like he taught them to be. Yeah. We don't want nothing to do with Lewis. Pray do to Allah. That's why we talk about him. I just want it to be clear. We ain't the same. Right. He a different kind of Muslim than me. He believe in a different God than I believe in. Yeah. I believe in Master Farad Muhammad is God. The man, man, not the spook. 
Not the spirit that came in, but the flesh and blood man who came. That's what I believe. So back to this article. To show you unity. This is the April 3rd, 1970, Muhammad speaks. This brother Jeremiah, when they got into it with them pastors, this is more what he said to them. Now, mind you, when you talking to Lewis about unity, he with the old my black brother stuff. And if you think I'm lying about anything I say or bring, all the Muhammad Speaks newspapers is on lie. You can go to newspapers.com and get every paper I bring. So if anybody think that what I'm saying about the messenger of Allah, prove it. Pray to Allah. So this is what Jeremiah told the old school FOI when they was talking about unity. This is what he told them Panthers after they had a fight and disarmed them. Jeremiah said, he said it should be palpably clear to all the sundry that the honorable Elijah Muhammad's followers are not intimidated by the intemperate remarks being made by the Panthers. This them old school FOI. He continuing to put them Panthers in check. Yes. This what we mean when we saying you. We not saying you gonna be slandering the message. We not saying you gonna be disrespecting him. None of that. When we talking about unity. When we talking about unity, it's behind him. So he goes on to say. He said, it should be palpably clear to all the sundry that the honorable Elijah Muhammad's followers are not intimidated by the intemperate remarks being made by the Panthers, Black Student League, or any organization or combination of organizations, black or white. Our leader and teacher has taught us to be peaceful and to pursue the way of peace. And all we know and observe, our conduct in Philadelphia can attest to the fact that the believers here strive hard in the way of peace. He said, we have never deliberately attacked anyone. We have suffered many attacks and we have responded to these attacks but are never the aggressor. He says, the Holy Quran ordains fighting with those who fight with us. And we most certainly will abide by the tenets of our faith. He said it is obvious that the Black Panthers and other black groups have greatly underestimated the depth of our devotion and loyalty of us, the Muslims, to our leader and teacher, the Honorable Elijah Muhammad. That's what Muslims got together first. We got to get this Elijah Muhammad thing first before we start talking about you. If I'm lying, go read them papers. Go read Lewis. I ain't had time to bring him. But when you read about them brothers back then, we got to get this Elijah Muhammad thing first before we start talking about anything. He the message. That's right. Pray to Allah. He the message. Whether you believe it or not, we believe. That's right. He ain't no preacher. He ain't no ref. He ain't no so-called American nigga preacher. Right. He the messenger of God, and that's what we believe. We do to Allah. And y'all underestimate our devotion and our love to him. Yes, sir. That's what you underestimate. But we here to clear it all up. Yes, sir. So he goes on to say. He says it is obvious that the Black Panthers and other black groups have greatly underestimated the depth of devotion and loyalty of us, the Muslims, to our leader and teacher, the Honorable Elijah Muhammad. The love that we feel for our leader and teacher goes farther than the superficial affections shown by the ignorant masses for a dead Malcolm. That's another thing we getting clear. He a hypocrite to us. We ain't changing that for you. That's right. 
you gonna respect us because the Holy Quran teaches us fighting is good for us. Yes. And we gonna stay true to our teachings. Mm -hmm. Fight with those who fight with you. Them the kind of men the messenger made. They were men in home and men in the streets. Yeah, that's right. That was the kind of man the messenger made. So Louis Farrakhan today, he want to be the big man with the sisters. He jealous of the message. Yes. He jealous of all the love the messenger got. Yes. So as a hypocrite, he think he can do it better. So the messenger said, told us that Master Farah Muhammad's name was Farah. He don't like that. He wants you to say it another way. The messenger told us the husband is the head of the household yes. and he's the boss. Yes. Louis the hypocrite. He don't like that. He said that Man, no, the truth is the boss. So if the man, or if he's saying that the truth is the boss, what's the truth? Whatever he say. Because the messenger told us the truth is the man is the head of the household. So if he's saying it's not, then what's the truth? The hypocrite telling you what the truth is. That ain't how we get down with the message. Because the messenger taught us about any ministry. He said, if they're not teaching you what I taught you, he said, get up and walk out. That's what he said. Get we, do right. we don't worship Lewis here. I'm not saying that to bash this, bro. I'm not saying that because I'm jealous. I just want you to know our intentions. What are we trying to do? We followers of the message. That's right, brother. Pray to Allah. All we got for Will and Jen is some Islam. But if Will and Jada still decide to have an open relationship, then they fuel for the fire. That's right. We ain't sitting there wasting no time trying to defend Will or Jada. No. Will is a fool. <laughs> I, when they, I heard them talking about this, brother, it's like I can't let nobody think the message produced them kind of weak brothers. Right. A kind of weak brother that think what he did is right. No, he weak. His wife control him. Let's go on with what the messenger said about the husband. We don't want to run out of time. So the messenger goes on. He said if, if his home is troubled or divided, or if his children are disobedient, he has failed in his most fundamental duty as a man. No success in life can compensate for this failure. This is the message. Yes, sir. The husband is the boss. Yes, sir. And if the house fails, there is nothing else in life that you can do that will compensate that. Mm -hmm. That's what's wrong with we. Yes, sir. He failed as a husband. He failed as a father. And she emasculates him. So the little piece of manhood he thought he had, he go up there and smack this bro to show how weak Will is. And I love Will. I grew up watching Fresh Prince. I used to listen to DJ Jazzy Jess from the Fresh Prince. So I don't hate this bro. But I'm a follower of the messenger. Will should have told Jada, if you want to have an open marriage, then you gon' have it without me. In fact about it, if she even suggests that, she should know, you off limits for me. We getting a divorce. We separate. Cause no woman should ever come to her man talking about she want another man. Not no FOI, I should say that. It ain't happening. So the messenger goes on. He says the home is the basic unit of society. The strength of a nation lies in the home and the security and happiness of the family of that nation. Now let's go to this hypocrite Louis Farrakhan. The messenger told us the home is the most fundamental and basic unit of a nation. You got this hypocrite telling brothers you ain't you ain't the head of your home. 
the truth is. That's a hypocrite. The message has said a hypocrite is worse than the enemy death. He said, because that hypocrite wins your confidence. Yes. And while you loving this hypocrite, he teach you to hate our lie in the message. Mm -hmm. Them brothers don't even know you hate our lie in the message. Mm -hmm. This hypocrite Louis Farrakhan taught you to hate our lie in the message. Mm -hmm. Anytime a brother can tell you something against what the messenger said, and you accept it, mm -hmm. you on your way. Anything, if the messengers say the sky yell, the sky yell. Just what it is. They be asking questions now. Talking about if you found some scientific proof that what the messenger said in the how to eat to live wasn't true, would you still follow the message? That's crazy. The messenger told us God not. It ain't going to be no scientific proof. That's going to prove the messenger wrong. No, right. But this is the kind of stuff we ask. To see who we can really. Yeah. They be asking about, oh, the messenger was a man too. And I'm a man. Any man should be critiqued. Any man should not the messenger. Right. We're no Muslims. That's, That's the kind of unity I want with brothers. <laughs> what you talking about? You questioning the message. We fight for the message. That's so I want every, that's the kind of unity I'm talking I'm talking about some fighting you. Yes. Well, we fighting for the mess. That ain't what you talking about. You talking about some Lewis stuff. Lewis turned the nation of Islam into a church yes. where the sisters is the boss. Mm -hmm. Sisters is ministers now. And what hypocrites do. He took that 1967 where the messenger said, all oh, my followers are ministers. Even the women. So for the weak believer, the hypocrite used that. Mm -hmm. But anytime you have a believer and you look at the message, it's like, okay, you got what he said coupled with what he did. Mm -hmm. The messenger didn't just give us teachings and leave. He said, I'm your example. Yeah. I'm the door. So if the messenger said an uh, MGT can be a minister of a temple, or the MGT can be a minister, all my followers, he said, are ministers. If he never appointed an MGT minister, then he don't mean she could be the post of minister. Because when he's saying that, because the messenger also said, the Muhammad Speaks newspaper is my best minister. He said in the laborers meeting, we all the same. You think you the same as the message. You always got to put them in context. Yes. When he's saying all oh, my followers are ministers, he talking about spreading and sharing Islam. <laughs> A sister can share Islam. A sister can write what Islam has done for me. A sister can write an article in the Muhammad Speaks newspaper. But when it comes to the post, a minister, that's for the brother. That's what the messenger, but the hypocrite wins your confidence. And as he wins your confidence, he teach you to hate our lie and the messenger just like he do. That's right, so the messenger goes on. He said, it is difficult for anyone to contribute to a, the nation if his house is in trouble. The troubled home affects a man in his work. A woman in her home making and children in their personal development. The man stands as the head of the household. Only when he is successful in this, in this calling is the house in order. And only when his house is in order can the nation function as it should. Man and woman's duties are clearly divided. He said, there is little overlapping except in emergencies. Mm -hmm. When the messengers say we provide, he ain't talking about we providing our wife work too and she help us with the bills. That ain't provide. The messengers say the husband is 100% provide. That's right. If his wife want to work, that's her money. Mm -hmm. 
Her responsibilities has nothing to do with provide. It's not her responsibility. The husband and the wife responsibility never overlap. That's what the messenger taught us. Just like Brother Jeremiah said. These hypocrites, they underestimate our loyalty and our duty to the message. We don't care nothing about Lewis. We don't care nothing about these Israelites. We gonna keep talking about them. If Lewis and his group can see Flager and speak up for him. They even had this brother named Ben Chase. This was one of the most amazing things I ever seen. I don't know if he got convicted, but he was accused of stealing money from the NAACP. This was when I was a young brother seeing this. I, so I didn't fathom it until I got older. Lewis made this brother the minister of Temple Number 7. The messenger would have never did that. They called this brother Ben Chavis Maha. That's Lewis Farrakhan. We not trying to build nothing like what he got. Messenger said her husband is the boss. The messenger told us not to have an inflated ego. So we read this stuff as FOI. We know we ain't to have an inflated ego over our wife. Now mind you, when I first got married, I didn't think that my wife, you gotta learn. She gotta learn, you gotta learn. I learned she knew Islam. She knew Islam is good or better than me. And that's what made me love my wife even more. We do to allow Muslim who love the message. That's what the messenger gave us. Yeah. And that's how we have a strong nation. Yeah. We don't have brothers looking outside to other sisters. It's MGT. Yeah, we tell the world MGT is the best. Yeah. What the honorable Elijah Muhammad built for us. Yeah, this is what we want. So the messenger goes on. He says, man and woman's duty are clearly divided. There is little overlapping except in emergencies. Not only did this follow divine law, but it's also logic and reason. Yes. It's logical to have brothers as ministers. That's logic. The messenger told the ministers in there at the laborers meeting. He said a minister can be attacked. For spreading the truth, the messenger had to be on the run for seven years. Yeah. So only a hypocrite will let a sister be a minister. Was she out front? She out front talking. I, only a hypocrite would do that. Yeah. I see this hypocrite letting say, so I don't understand how them brothers can tolerate Lewis. You ain't telling my daughter. I saw these sisters. Word is bond to our life. They in the projects. It was brothers, I think, sitting on a car, sitting on something with their shirt off. Group of brothers. You got little young MGT standing there telling them about the paper. Not no FOI. This hypocrite ain't telling me my daughter gonna be out there with papers. Or my wife. My wife doing what the messenger said to do. That's a hypocrite. Him and Wallace is trying to destroy the nation of Islam. But they underestimate the love that believers have for the message. Yes, sir. The messenger said, hold on Islam. He said, I don't promise you no smooth go. But he said, I promise you one thing. You will be the winner. Yes, sir. Do tell That's good enough for us. So we only say this to clear the air. To let air. We don't follow Lewis. We don't believe like him. No. The God we talking about is different from whoever he talking about. The messenger we talk, the messenger we talking about died in 1975. That's right. That's a mess. We're not talking about some messenger that's on the wheel. The messenger say, I do this until death take me away. That's what he said. Said the only thing that's gonna stop me is death. Yeah. And he said, I lie agreed with him. The messenger used to be sick. He is still write articles. The messenger would be in the bed sick, can't talk, but he is writing for the secretaries. That's how devoted he was to get the truth to the black man. That's right. So you're not telling no believer. 
to see how hard this man worked for 44 years. Messenger in the hospital, still telling brothers what to say. So you're not telling us to hear, sit here and let this hypocrite Louis Farrakhan tear up everything he building he's sitting up on the wheel. The messenger told us the man is the head of the household. He the one told we didn't know nothing about that until we became Muslims. But now you got a hypocrite that's going to tell you the messenger on the wheel, but the husband ain't the head. The truth the head. And I tell you what the truth is. And the truth ain't what he was talking about. The truth what I'm talking about. Well, brothers and sisters, we don't want to prolong the time. So I'll leave you as I came in the nation. As far as greeting words, peace of Oslo, I'm a lady. Enjoying the show? Help keep us on the air. 313-371-7033. That's 313-371-7033. To make a donation. Brothers and sisters, we rise for prayer. In the name of Allah, the Beneficent, the Merciful. All praise is due to Allah, the Lord of the worlds, the Beneficent, the Merciful. So, Master's Day of Judgment in which we now live, the alone that we serve and the alone beseech for thine help and aid. O oh Allah, please guide us on the right path, path of those upon whom thou hast spelled thy favors, not on the path of those upon whom thy wrath is brought down, nor those who go astray after they heard thy teachings. Say he Allah is one God. Allah is he of whom nothing is independent but upon whom we all depend. He begat us not, nor is he begotten, there is none like him. And I bear witness that none is there to be served, worship the praise besides Allah, who came in the person of Master Farah Muhammad. And I bear witness that the honor of Elijah Muhammad is our true servant and last apostle. I mean, the honor of Elijah Muhammad taught us not to do anything to anyone that we wouldn't have done it to ourselves and treat everybody right. Even the devil. Assalamu alaikum.